Hello and welcome to Prolific North News, I'm Sophie Whitfield. Making the news this week is Saul Nasse, controller of BBC Learning at Media City UK. He's announced he is to leave the corporation after 23 years to take up the post of Chief Executive of Cambridge English Language Assessment. Saul joins us in the studio now. Thank you for coming in today, Saul. So, you're virtually BBC Life, you've been with them for 23 years. It must have been a difficult decision to decide you're going. What was it that ultimately made your mind up? I th funnily enough, I think if you work at the BBC, oh, you, can, you can work here that long and think you're going to leave at any moment. And I, I'd say in, in all my 23 years, I always thought I'd be off to something new. And I've, I've changed around at the BBC a lot. I've worked in Delhi and Bombay and here in Salford. Yeah. So in a way, I'm quite used to change even w within the job. So, so it was all about a great job opportunity came up. And when you yeah. th say that you thought you might leave within those 23 years, what did you think you were going to go into? Is it what you've decided this year to do? No, I mean, I'm, I'm not one of those people that has got some massive career plan. But I, I, I just think it's about your relationship with the BBC. It's not, it's, not, it's not actually an institution that people sign up to imagining they're going to retire out of it. I mean, there's a lot of freelancers coming in and out. It's a, it's a very sort of vibrant atmosphere. So I think I was, you, you're always having a look around to see what might be there. So and this was just an irresistible job. So what kind of relationship did you job. say that you would have had with the BBC? What kind of relationship um, was it over the years? I think it, it, it's one where you're always looking for what the next creative opportunity is. I mean, I've, I've always been motivated by what I'm going to get out of the job rather than what it's going to do for my career. So you look for interesting and exciting things. And the new job that I've got is an interesting, exciting thing, and it just happens to be outside the BBC. That's why, that's why I'm off. Great. So you obviously ha did the massive move up from London. You led the uh, the move with about 250 staff, was it, for the BBC? We, we're 250 people based here, and we, we moved up about a quarter of those and recruited about three quarters of, of new people. And one of the reasons for you moving was that you wanted to build audi partnerships with the northern audiences here. Do you feel that you've achieved that? Well, I think our, our partnerships have been more with organisations around the north, whether it's universities that we've done research projects with or partners that we've delivered events on the ground or, or, or even um, indies who supply our programs and I think I think we've made good progress on, on all of those always more to do but I think I think that that has made that made, has made a big difference great so you actually relocated here a lot of the senior executives didn't and they've been under criticism for that um, what was your biggest factor in moving here up to the north and you moved your family as well you relocated uh, uh, I've got a family who are very movable. My daughter was, was two when we moved up, so I, I didn't have some of the issues that other people at any level in the BBC might have around families with kids at senior school and, and that sort of thing. I mean, I, wherever, wherever my job's gone, I've always moved with it. So I did a stint in Manchester a few years ago, and I moved up to Manchester just for the, just for the six months of that job because I, I personally really like to be in the place that I'm working in. So I'm, I'm house hunting in Cambridge at the moment, ready for, ready for the next move. So where do you think BBC Learning is going to go now Now you're moving on? Where, where do you see it in the next five years? Or so? well, I think, I think there's, a, there's a big future for education at the BBC. Tony Hall, our Director General, is massively committed to it. And he, he's, he's set us a challenge to think bigger, better, bolder about, about education, building on the success of what we've done in the last few years, in particular, I Wonder, which is our big online learning product that we launched just, just a few weeks ago. So I think, I think you'll see um, us doing, doing things that uh, may be a bit more focused, um, a bit more concentrated, a bit more easy to make a splash with. So next year we're doing a big campaign around getting the nation computer coding. Um, and I, I think that's what you'll see, ra rather, rather kind of headline um, grabbing approaches that really, really make a, a big change for, for audiences. Fantastic. So what would you say is your biggest achievement of the BBC in your time there? My, my, biggest, my biggest achievement is, is launching I Wonder, um, this, this online product, because I think, I think it will really transform the way audiences interact um, with the BBC in, in education. Uh, the thing I'm most proud of, um, in a way, was my, my stint in India, where I launched BBC Worldwide's um, production business out there. Sort of personally proud, because it was, a, it was just a really, really hard thing to do. Um, but in terms of sort of lasting impact on the BBC, I think I wonder is probably further up the dial. Great. Well, we wish you all the best in your new position. Thank you very much for joining us today. So now here's Isabel Greenfield to run through the media news stories that are making the headlines this week. Isabel. Thank you, Sophie. Auto Trader publisher Trader Media is moving to Manchester City Centre. 600 staff will make the move in May, following the closure of seven offices in the North West. The investment is designed to ensure that the business continues to grow and bring in the best UK talent. 
Neil Walker, one of Manchester's best-known SEO consultants, has spoken out after he was accused of plagiarism by former Just Search colleague James Welsh. Walker has called Welsh's comments a wild accusation and Welsh has since been unavailable for comment. Blue Logic Digital has acquired the brand and assets of Leeds agency Coolpink. The company ceased trading back in January and its clients list included Asda, Smeg, Weber and Warner. Coolpink was listed in Prolific North's top 50 integrated agencies and has recently appointed a new commercial director. That's all of the top media news for this week, so back to you Sophie. Thank you Isabel. So that's all from us here at Prolific North News. Don't forget to visit us online at prolificnorth.co.uk and follow us on Twitter at Prolific North using the hashtag PNNTV. See you next Wednesday, thank you for watching and goodbye.